Sasha, hello. Hi, Rupert. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I uh, am new to this community, but uh, I'm not new to your teachings. Okay. Uh, I'm very thankful for you sharing a lot of your content on YouTube and make it available to all of us. Um, my question is uh, about um, war. Um, my experience uh, confirms that uh, my essence is the quiet, loving awareness. And yet, the disturbances come and go, and uh, sometimes I can let them go. Sometimes they stay a little bit longer and then I let them go. My family is from Ukraine and uh, I have friends, colleagues, uh, people that are dear to me there. And my question to you is how do you process war? And, uh, and what can we do to bring more peace? Conflict between nations, communities, individuals is almost always based on a single belief that we are separate from the other. Take what's happening in the Ukraine at the moment. That is the primary belief on which this conflict is based. So if we want to make a real contribution to humanity, the most important thing is to be free from that belief ourselves. To be free from the belief and the feeling that others are others. To recognize that the being we are is shared by everyone. The people we like, the people we dislike. The people we agree with, the people we disagree with. The aggressors and the victims. Oh, that's the, internally, that is the most important thing. And then externally, to express that understanding in whatever way feels appropriate to us, in whatever way we can do. The way I express it is, is like this, but there are many other ways of expressing it. What that means for you in this particular situation with friends and, and family in Ukraine, may require your being more active in that respect than than I am more you may be able to tailor this understanding more specifically to your community than I am doing so obviously you do whatever you can to tailor this felt sense of our shared being to your community or to your friends and colleagues and family in the Ukraine. However you are able to do that. But the most important thing is to feel that you share your being not just with the people in Ukraine, although obviously your, your heart goes out, all of our hearts go out particularly to them. But the important thing is to Feel it with everyone. Remember the Dalai Lama's friend. I've told this story before. Some of you have heard of it. He was in a Chinese concentration camp for 20 years. And when he came out, he had been a monk with the, with the Dalai Lama in Tibet before they left. And when he came out, he, he met up with the Dalai Lama again. And his, the 
he said to the Dalai Lama, the Dalai Lama asked him about his time in the concentration camp, and, and he said it was very dangerous there. And Dalai Lama said, dangerous in what way? And his friend said to him, on a number of occasions, I almost lost my compassion for my guards. So that, that's, that's the attitude of one who feels that they share their being with everyone. And that is the, ultimately that is the, the attitude that will bring healing to the world, that will bring harmony to the world. Thank you. Well, I wish, Sasha, I wish you and your family and your friends the, the very best. I, I hold all of you, as I know we all do, in our hearts. Thank you.